Dave Rubin claims Hitler was a leftist because he was an art-loving vegetarian and also claims that Nazis is an acronym for the National Socialist German Workers' Party. No way. Away from Germany's so Nazism gets associated with conservatism at the drop of a hat, but historically it stems from the left. Adolf Hitler, an art-loving vegetarian who seized power by wooing voters away from Germany's social democrat and communist parties. The name Nazi is an acronym for the National Socialist German Workers' Party, which most of today's democratic socialists conveniently forget. He has good hair, yep. he has a nice smile, and you know what he also does? He's got that good shirt tuck, you notice that? You know yes. what I mean? Like some people can just tuck a shirt just right you and it's really just, think like, you don't come off as gay enough? I guess that's kind of gay. Okay. But he's got just that that tuck that you're like, is did a Little robot French do that? How did he do that? But that's sort of the the Obama version of what we had here. You right? really it's, think it's, you like, don't it's, come off as gay enough? I guess that's kind of gay. Okay. But he's got <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Nicole Arbor. Just just the worst human being. Absolutely. Dave Rubin believes the reason Canadians voted for Justin Trudeau is because he knows how to tuck in his shirt. I was like, am I, was I listening to that right? I didn't know if he was joking. I didn't want to make fun of that because I was like, is, if, if he's just joking about that, then I can't, I can't really mock that. It would be pretty, pretty ridiculous. All right, hold on one sec here. Marriage is a fundamental building block for a Western society. It's, it causes us to reproduce and have familial bonds and all of these things. Mar Neat. It must be so weird that you have to kind of like, you know, fit into so many boxes to continue the grift. Like every single day, it's like, oh, what am I gonna have to do today? Oh, what, what do I have to lie about? Oh, sure, yeah, I'm a Christian. Oh, yeah, sure, no, no, I'm, I'm not gay anymore. No, 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 I, I stopped that. I, I'm better now. So exciting, oh my God, they can do this with my picture and I can add the dog to the thing and the poop yeah. and the wall, that's... But there's a reason that there's been a stagnation there. It's because Silicon Valley became so lefty, so progressive, so tolerant and the whole thing mm -hmm. that they can't even come up with any good ideas anymore. Now think yeah. about this. When's the last time you put an app on your phone, a new app? A couple days ago. So you did pull it. All right. So, but, yeah. but remember, okay. So that's probably pretty rare. There was a couple of years where we. <laughs> oh yeah. Wrecked. Dave Rubin lists The Daily Wire, Andy you Ngo, know, and Tim Pool as his top three most reliable news sources. They're responsible and do the good work. Good sources out there, uh, Ben Shapiro's Daily Wire. Look, they're doing, thing they're doing things obviously from a, a right perspective, from a conservative perspective, but I think Ben is a responsible editor-in-chief of the site, and I think they're doing good work. You can find individual journalists. Uh, Tim Poole's an individual journalist who some of you may know. Uh, there's a guy, Andy No, up in, in Portland that's doing good work. It's getting harder and harder to do, but I would say more than anything else, I mean, watch some of these shows at the moment. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I mean, uh, if, if, if you're curious, if you, if you didn't know about those three, by the way, uh, Tim Poole basically speaks in Marvel metaphors and is just proven wrong time and time again, especially when he tries to make predictions. And uh, oddly enough, constantly asks for civil war and then donates to political parties that he feels will be advantageous to him achieving his civil war which is uh, also a little bit unusual. Uh, at the same time, can we speak a little bit about the, the other two? Andy No, of course, who uh, in no short part is donating his time uh, as well as his information to organizations such as the Proud Boys, uh, who produces lists of people. Uh, he publicly uh, displays their information, uh, their, let's say, uh, what is it, their their arrest records and or uh, mug shots, and will say, this is their full name, uh, this is what they're arrested for, and those uh, those lists are then taken. And I'm not saying that Andino directly knows, or, or sorry, that he's doing this uh, intentionally. I'm not going to make that unverified fact that he's doing this because he knows it will be read later on by white supremacists and then used as kill lists. But uh, that, that is what they're used for. Uh, the Adam Waffen, for example, has used Andy Ngo's lists and uh, his lists of Antifa, uh, let's just say, activists uh, in order to form uh, violent action strikes. For this lefty socialist Bernie Bananas loon on Twitter, if you say to them, name three politicians you like, they can't do it. They'll say Bernie, AOC, and then, you know, maybe pick another. But the point is, <laughs> nobody can pick three they like. Even the people who love Trump the most, they don't love him because he's a politician. They love him because he's not a politician. <laughs> 
Name three politicians. You can't do it. And neither can I. <laughs> ideas oh, so for many thousands ideas. of years to get to the Enlightenment. So to say it all started there. And it, it just takes time for these, these ideas, which I do believe are the right ideas and the good ideas, to, to trickle up. As the highest level ideas. Down. So the fact that there was like an idea revolution that the mainstream just chose to ignore. Mainstream's up here, idea revolution's happening, and then the, the tech is growing at the same time, and then they merged into something really beautiful. It's not like my particular point of interest, like building codes, or even regulation specifically, like the nitty gritty parts of regulation. Uh, I like talking about ideas. That's what I like talking about. If the dial of ideas was turned to low for the last... <laughs> I, I'm only interested in, in ideas. I, I, I just want more high-level ideas. A few years, it's quickly moving into the hot position. Well, the dial of ideas is, is turned up to 11, everybody. ...we're having here are finally starting to leak out into the rest of the world. But we're on this stage together, and for some reason, there's a set of people right now that are able to do this, that are able to have conversations like this, that are diving into these ideas. <laughs> I also, I love, by the way, they're speaking at the, uh, the Ayn Rand Institute, so that, uh, that gives you a little indication as to how, how high these ideas truly are. Uh, on top of which, I love how dangerous he thinks he is. I, I love how all of them do. It's like, yeah, don't burn this book, because my ideas, they're dangerous. I mean, I mean, Milo's book was actually called Dangerous. And no one cares. Like, what? <laughs> you're like, well, what? Uh, the, these ideas were, they were mainstream in the 1960s, and now they're, and now they're provocative. I was like, no, you're just a bigot. These <laughs> ideas. So I never asked for, all right, you know, it, it's so silly to even, unfortunately, to have to talk about these little nonsensical things. Because I, because I, I like talking about ideas, not about people. And I have to say that my brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high level important ideas. Dave Rubin claims Hitler was a leftist because he was an art-loving vegetarian and also claims that Nazis is an acronym for the National Socialist German Workers' Party. No way. Away from Germany's so Nazism gets associated with conservatism at the drop of a hat, but historically it stems from the left. Adolf Hitler, an art-loving vegetarian who seized power by wooing voters away from Germany's social democrat and communist parties. The name Nazi is an acronym for the National Socialist German Workers' Party, which most of today's democratic socialists conveniently forget. I just, uh, pff, oh, well, that's, that's one high-level idea. I, I, yes, now I understand why it's turned up to the hot position. Yeah, no, no, we're, we're in the hot position now. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, well, that's, uh, I'd say that was shocking, but, uh, you know. I mean, whoever associates the Nazis with far right ideology, I mean, that's, that's absurd. I mean, what is, what is fascism, but the ultimate form of free expression, free expressionism and, and veganism and, and art lovers. I mean, if you've ever seen Hitler paint a dog, he, he paints a really good doggy. And because of that, uh, by nature, that, that's leftist. If he paints dogs, that nothing is more leftist ideology than that. That's what Marx and Engels wrote about. All right. W was painting dog. Adolf Hitler, an art-loving vegetarian who seized power by wooing voters away from Germany's social democrat and com- All these ideas are just, they're too high level. I, I, wow. Yeah. All right. Okay, everybody. To our monarch, Thomas Bowe, you are the light that guides our path. To our lords, I'm Rath, Steven, Nine Tails Cosmic Fox, and Hans Josephine, we bow meekly for your pleasure. To our knights of the round table, Josh Mickelson, Dylan Bythe, Alexander Thaler, Zach Christensen, Todd Buckingham, Todd Lajeunesse, Clement Chudscott, Sky Bear Games, Mosby, Political Puppy, Alan R., Andreas Chitoro, Good Poon hates cops, that's solid Poon then, we salute you. And to all our merchants and farmers, we have our undying loyalty and love. 